Hey, how are you, Barb? So good. Are you in Hawaii again? Yeah. Oh, that's I'm cool. Visiting my dad and my daughter, and we've got some good friends that are here, so. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah, it'll be good. Where does he live? He lives on Kauai, uh -huh. uh, on the east side, in the little yeah. town called Kapa'a. So, yeah. That's a fun island. Yeah, it really is. It's good. Um, it's a little... I'm going to try to... Okay. There's Heather A. Um, can you hear me, Barb? I can real well. Okay. Okay, good. I put my I think this might help with the sound of the birds and the wind and everything else. So all right. Um <laughs> Hi Heather. Um, Hi, are you in are you in Maui? Oh, uh, Kauai. Kauai. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it sounds awesome. It looks beautiful. It's been pretty rainy and um but I've got this kind of awning, so I think we'll be okay out here for today. So excited to see you both. It's good to see you. <laughs> so yeah, fun. this is kind of a quick trip. Um I'll be back on Monday, so. Wow, that is a fast trip. When did you go? I came here on Monday, so okay. one week, yeah. So that'll be good. Um, well, what do you guys want to do today? What do you feel like? I know it's our advanced class, but I'm open. I, I would love something like with hamstrings. Mm. You got it. Hamstrings would be great. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> You've got it. Let's do it. Let me just make sure you guys can see me over here. Yeah, that'll be all right. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks for being here, you guys. <clears throat> Thank you for doing this all the way from Hawaii. <laughs> You're welcome. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> so let's just take a second to <clears throat> just to settle into our posture. You can Grab any props you might need for practice today. If you want access to a block or a bolster. I don't have either of those things today, but if you do knock yourself out. So <clears throat> let's take a moment just to settle in. You can allow your eyes to close. And start to to Tune into your breath. Taking just a moment or two here in stillness. Feeling the rising and the falling of your breath. Then on your next in-breath, let's extend the arms out wide and reach all the way up alongside the ears. And then exhale, gather your hands together at your heart. And we'll do a couple more just like that. So extend the arms out wide, reach all the way. And then hands together at the heart. Good. One more, just like that, reach all the way up. 
Just find your full extension here and then hands back together, heart center. Good. And now reach just the right arm up alongside the ear and come all the way up and over into a side bend, side body stretch. Feel into the length and the opening along your right ribs and side body. Maybe you turn your chest down a little bit toward the floor or up a little bit toward the sky. I'm just feeling into that right side for just a moment. Good. And then let's come all the way back up. Release the right arm back down. Perfect. And then second side, your left arm reaches all the way up. And then up and over into your side bend, your side body stretch. Feeling along the left ribs and the shoulder, the side body. And same thing here, you can explore a little bit of movement as you're turning your chest down a little bit toward the floor or up a little bit toward the sky. And we'll bring it all the way back up. We extend and release back down. Perfect. Bring your hands behind you. Uncross your legs. Bring the soles of your feet to the ground. And take a couple of windshield wipers side to side. Starting to feel into this movement of your hips, your spine, muscles of your back. Maybe pulling your shoulders in the opposite direction of your knees. Good, perfect. And then coming back up, let's extend the right leg forward. And bring the sole of the left foot here to the inner thigh. So right leg forward, left leg bent. Reach up tall on your in-breath, lengthen through your spine. And then exhale into a forward fold over your right leg. And take a few breaths here, just feeling into the hamstrings, the length of the leg, maybe a little bit of a, a stretch or opening in the lower back. Feeling into each breath. Good. Take one more breath here. Maybe drawing just a little bit deeper into this one-legged forward fold over the right leg. And then come back upright. We'll stretch back up through the arms. Lengthen up. Take the left hand to the floor behind you and reach the right arm back. Maybe this is it. You can just hang out here. Or if you feel like lifting the hips up and arching back, coming into more of a back bend, or maybe cradling the back of your head with your hand. Full breath here. And then come on back to your seat. And we're going to just switch up the legs. So extend the left leg forward and bring the sole of your right foot here to the inner thigh. Reach up tall on your in-breath, lengthen, and then exhale, come into this forward fold over your left leg, feeling into the hamstrings on your left side, your lower back. Noticing the, the subtlety, the nuance of each breath.
Good. Take one more full breath here over this left leg. Come all the way back upright. Stretch back up through the arms. This time, take your right hand behind you and reach the left arm back. You can keep it right here or option to push and lift and reach and arch your way back. Lifting your hips up away from the floor. Reaching back with your left arm and fingertips. Take one more breath here. And then exhale, make your way back down to your seat. Good. And we'll come forward now to the hands and the knees. And start to move here a little bit through cat-cow. Opening through the heart on the in-breath. Rounding the spine on the out breath. Good. A couple more rounds just like that. If you want to take this into child's pose for just a couple of breaths, you're welcome to do that. Or continue your movement for just a couple of breaths. And then, whenever you're ready, let's make our way to downward facing dog. So, plug into the floor through both hands, just hips up, and Walk it out a little bit here and maybe shift your weight from one foot to the other. Feeling into the hamstrings in particular here and targeting that length and stretch and opening in your down dog. Good, nice job. You guys take another full breath here. This first down dog of practice. And then bend your knees a little bit and look forward, step or hop forward towards your hands, the top of your mat. Flat back on your in breath, so lengthen it forward, extend through the spine. Exhale, fold. Good. That movement one more time, so inhale. Lengthen and stretch. Exhale, fold. Good. Take a couple more breaths here in your standing forward fold or Uttanasana. And then feel into the ground through both feet. Come all the way up to standing. So you're going to push into the ground through your feet. Stretch the arms up. Reach up tall. And then exhale, hands together at the heart. Beautiful job, everybody. Arms back up on in-breath. So extend the arms out wide. Reach up tall and open. Exhale, forward fold. That lengthens the swan dive forward. Forward fold, let your head relax. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way back up to standing. So ground through your feet, press through your feet, stretch up, reach up. And then hands together at the heart. Good, continue this movement. So arms reach back up on inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Keep your core strong as you fold it all the way in. Flat back on your in-breath. Exhale, fold. All the way back up to standing. So as you root through your feet, reach the arms up. Maybe a little mini back bend. And then hands together in front of the heart. Good. 
Continue this movement. So stretch the arms all the way up as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to that halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. This time take your hands all the way to the floor. Step your way to plank pose, upper, upper push up. Push into the ground, pull in through your core, lift through your belly. Your next exhale, lower down, chaturanga. And then inhale into your version of cobra. Little bend in your elbows, shoulders back, heart lifted, pressing through the tops of your feet. And then all the way back to downward facing dog. Feel into the ground. Hips high, strong core, continuing to open up, up and lengthen the hamstrings, the calves, the backs of your legs. Take another breath. Good. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop forward to your hands. Lengthen out your spine, so stretch forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. All the way back up to standing. So again, ground your feet, reach up, open. Hands together at the heart. Good. Let's do one more just like that. So continue to move with your breath, reaching up through your arms as you inhale. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen, extend forward to the crown of your head. And then hands down, make your way back, plank pose, push into the ground, strong through your core, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, open and lift through your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feeling your body move through this full range of motion your sun salutation. Good. Take a couple more breaths here. And then bend your knees and look forward. Make your way back up top. Step or hop forward. Flat back on your in-breath. Exhale, fold. Good. Back up to standing on your next in-breath. So push into the ground, reach up, stretch up. And then hands together at the heart. All right, my dears, keep this going. Take the arms back up. This time on your exhale, bend your knees and sit. Chair pose. So extend through your arms, the biceps alongside your ears. And sit just a little bit deeper into that chair. Lift a little bit to your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Take it down. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Extend your spine. And then take your hands to the floor. Make your way to plank pose. Take your time. No rush. Chaturanga on your exhale. Inhale, cobra pose. Little back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale your right leg back behind you. Reach it up to a three-legged downward dog. Take an extra breath here. Bend your right leg. Lift and open through your hip. So as you lift your hip, see if you can draw your left heel down a little bit closer to the floor. And then step your right foot all the way through for a lunge. Let's come down to this back knee. Start and extend and lengthen up through the arms. Take a full breath here. Inner thighs drawing toward that midline. Square off your hips. Bend your elbows and lean back and open through your chest. And then re-extend your arms. As you exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Pick up your back knee. 
shift your weight forward onto your right leg and extend your left leg up, standing split. So left leg reaches top tall as you fold over your right leg. Feel into the ground through all four corners of the sole of your right foot as you fold it in. Option to take your right hand or forearm back behind your right calf and continue to fold it in, bringing your forehead toward your chin. Take another full breath here as you lengthen and reach up. Feel your hamstrings. Exhale, step your left foot to the back of your mat. Center the right knee over your ankle. Left hand stays down, right arm reaches up for a twist, twisting lunge. Push the ground away. Continue to peel back and open. Take one more breath. Cleanse, wring it out. Exhale, right hand comes back down. Sit back, plank pose, lower down, chaturanga. Open it up, cobra pose, lift to your heart. Exhale, downward dog. And then take your left leg and reach it all the way back. Lengthen it up. Bend your left leg. Open your hip. Feel back. So as the left leg opens, I think you might draw your right heel a little bit closer to the floor. Take another breath here. Step your left foot through, coming into your lunge. Come on down to your right knee. Square off your hips and reach your arms up. So feeling into your lunge, to your back thigh, open through your chest. Bend your elbows, lean back and open. Take another huge breath here. Re-extend your arms as you inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down. Pick up your back knee and shift your weight forward onto your left leg. So your right leg floats up, folding over a left. Good. Option to take your left hand and forearm back behind your left calf as you fold it in. Continue to reach up through your right leg, through your right toes, as you draw your forehead towards your left chin. Couple more breaths here. And then go ahead and step your right foot to the very back of your mat. Center your left knee over your ankle and reach your left arm up for a twisting lunge. Push into the ground with your right hand. Continue to peel back and open to your heart. Give this a couple more rounds of breath. Good. And then release out of that. Bring it back down. Stick your waist plank. Chaturanga lower down. Open up and lift through your heart, extend. And then downward facing dog on your exhale. Good, take another couple of breaths here in your down dog. In fact, this time in our down dog, let's take the feet a little wider and tiptoe forward just a little tiny bit, sitting up for a twisting down dog. So push into the floor with your right hand and weight your left hand and bring it around to the outer right calf or ankle and start to twist to your right side. You're kind of looking past your right arm, armpit, and draw your 
right heel toward the floor and continue to pull your right hip back away from your shoulder. Take another breath here. Good, and then release and switch sides. So now left hand presses down and wait your right hand, reach around and grab a hold of the outer left calf or ankles, wherever you can reach. Look we'll past your left arm shoulder and continue to draw your left hip back away from the shoulder and twist. <laughs> guys I'm getting totally rained on so continue on continue on <laughs> all right come back to center and then just a second to dry off my mat All right, downward facing dog. Take another breath here and then let's bend the knees, hook forward, come on back up to the top of the mat. Flat back on your in breath. Exhale, fold. Bend your knee, sit on back to chair pose. You can pass on it, extend and lengthen through the arms. Keep your knees bent, exhale your fingertips down to the floor. Stretch your right arm up toward the sky. Straighten out your right leg a little bit, pull your hip back open through your chest. Exhale, bend both knees back to your chair, right hand down, and then send your left arm up. Straighten out your left leg a little bit. Pull your hip back. Good. One more on each side. Back to your chair, both hands down. Stretch your right arm up. Straighten out your right leg a little bit. Pull your hip back. Exhale back down, both knees bent. And then take your left arm up. Straighten out your left leg a little bit. Pull your hip back. Exhale, bring it back down. Good. Lengthen up on your in-breath. And then hands to the floor. Step your way back, plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your right leg into the air, reaching all the way up. Bend your leg and open through your hip. And step your right foot all the way through. This time we're going to keep the back knee lifted, crescent or high lunge. So you're in a lunge, right leg is bent, back leg is straight. Square off your hips, inner thighs engage. Bend your elbows, bend your back knee at a little hover. Open up through your chest. Take another full breath here. Straighten your back leg back up, reach your arms back up. Exhale, hands down. One more standing split. So you're going to shift your back leg up. Fold over your right leg. You can keep it here or option to walk your hands out in front of you a little bit. Shift your shoulders forward and do some little press hops toward handstand. Okay, nothing too crazy but just an option this is our advanced class this month so gotta throw a couple of these in there and then step it back to your lunge and open your right arm up for your twist good bring your right hand back down this time and walk your hands to your left, so the long edge of your mat, spin your feet, feet parallel. Flat back on your in-breath. Exhale, hold. So root down through the inner and outer edges of both feet. 
Let your head relax, let your neck and your jaw release. Feel into your back body. A couple more rounds of breath. And then on your next in-breath, lengthen forward. Bring your hands to your hips and connect to your core. Come all the way up to standing. The right toes are going to come forward as we set up for triangle pose. So re-extend your arms, push through your back foot, reach forward with the arm, the rib cage, the chest. Bring your right hand down and left arm extends up. Good, a couple more breaths here. Keep your legs straight, your spine long, your arms spread wide, your heart lifted. Take one more breath. Take your left arm forward alongside your ear and then circle the arm back down to the floor. Now step your back foot forward, maybe five or six inches. Turn the toes a little more forward. And we're going to set up for pyramid pose. I'm going to suggest that you come up to standing. You can start this from an upright position. So your back toes are angled almost forward. You can use blocks here. It's totally fine. Um, or have your fingertips come to the floor. Or you can take the arms out wide and then take them behind your back, either grabbing a hold of opposite forearms for having your hands come into a reverse prayer position behind your back. Either way, you're going to square off your hips, lift to your heart, and then start to come forward over your right leg. Keep your head relaxed. Continue to pull your right hip back away from your um, shoulder. And keep both feet rooted down equally to the floor. Take one more breath here in your pyramid pose or Parsvottanasana. Put a little bend in your standing leg. Your arms can stay as they are behind your back if you want. We're gonna push into the floor with the right foot, a little balance challenge here. A warrior three with your arms behind you. Now certainly you can do whatever you want with your arms. Arms can go back along your sides or out wide or forward alongside your ears. Take one more breath here. You lengthen. Go ahead and step back to your lunge. We'll let the arms release and reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step that right foot back to plank pose. Feel into your core here, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, little cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, you guys. Take a couple of breaths here. And then extend the left leg into the air. Reach it all the way up. Bend into your leg and open through your hip. A little stretch out. And then step your left foot forward into a lunge. We're going to keep that back knee lifted this time. Square off the hips. Reach up tall. Press into high lunge. So strong through your back leg. And then also that front leg. Uh, bent and front foot rooted. Take another breath here. Bend your elbows. So you goal post your arms. Bend into your back knee as you peel back and open through your heart, through your chest. Take another breath, this little turbo lunge. Re-extend your arms. Reach up tall. Exhale the hands down. Pick up your back foot. You're coming into a standing splits once again. The right leg reaches up. 
as you fold over your left leg. Maybe take your left hand behind the calf once again, fold it in, do what we did before. Or if you want to play around with these little handstand hops, walk your hands forward just a little bit, shoulders over your wrist, push the ground away, and then press hop. Do a couple of these. Little, little hang time. Good. Step it all the way back into your lunge and take the left arm up for a twist. Good. Take another full breath here. Exhale, bring it back down. Crawl your hands all the way over to the right side of your mat. <clears throat> Feet wide. Lengthen on your in-breath. And then exhale, fold. And this time around from your wide straddle, you can really do whatever you'd like. Um, I'm going to talk you through a headstand if anybody wants to do this. So you're going to come down to your elbows and your forearms here interlace the fingers bring the top of the head to the floor and making like a little tripod so your head is at the top of your triangle and your elbows are at the bottom or the base gentle cradling of the back of the head shift your weight towards your head by lifting the heels of your feet up and holding the back of your head with your hands. And then the feet come off of the mat into a straddle. Maybe keep the legs there, or you can take your legs all the way up, finding your way into a little headstand, shirshasana for a moment. And then taking your legs back out wide Using your core, slowly lower your feet back to the floor. Feel into the ground through both feet. And then extend out through your spine. Stretch it forward. And then walk your hands back up to the top of your mat. And step back to plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga. Continue with this movement, cobra or up dog downward dog oh and forgot the second part so go back to your wide straddle oh you guys lengthen your spine bring your hands to your hips come all the way up we got to do triangle and pyramid so turn your left toes forward toward the front of your mat stretch your arms out wide push with your back foot reach forward and then take it into Trikonasana Triangle Pose. So left hand down, right arm stretches up, open and expand. Feel into the ground firmly through your feet as you spread your arms, lengthen your spine and open through your heart. Good, we'll stretch the right arm forward alongside your ear. Lengthen through that side and then bring both hands down the floor. Step your back foot forward four or five inches or so. Turn the toes a little more forward and then let's come all the way up to standing. So we're going to start this pyramid pose from our standing position. Hips forward, root down through both feet. Again, you can use blocks or have your hands come to the floor. Otherwise, take your arms out wide and then your arms will go behind your back, either grabbing a hold of opposite forearms or um, having that prayer position behind your back. Lengthen your spine and then start to fold over your left leg for pyramid, Parswachanasana. Press through both feet, pull your left hip back a little bit as you fold over this left leg. Continue to breathe, to expand, to 
open, feel into each breath. Good, now you can keep it here if you wanna come into that balance challenge, bend into your front leg, shift your weight forward onto this left leg, take your right leg back. So this is a variation of warrior three. Okay, with the option of having the arms behind the back. A couple more rounds of breath here. Good. Step it all the way back to your lunge. Release your arms, extend up. And then exhale, hands to the floor. Take a vinyasa. So step that left foot back, lower down, chaturanga. Cobra, and then downward facing dog. Nice job, you guys. All right. <clears throat> Next in breath, take your right leg back, take it up, bend your right leg and open through the hip. Take your right knee over to touch your left elbow, little twisting plank. Take your leg back. Again, reach it up, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee over to your right elbow or tricep. Inhale your leg back one more time. Reach it up maybe a little bit higher. And then draw your knee through all the way into pigeon pose. So square off your hips, pull toward that midline, lift up through your chest, and then walk your hands forward, settling into your pigeon. And take about three more breaths here. Good. And then start your way back up right. Lengthen back up through your spine. Tuck your back toes under. Push with your hands and send your right leg back. So back to a three-legged down dog. Bend your leg and open through your hip. Option to unweight your right hand and flip your dog over into a wild thing or this three-legged back bend. Couple more breaths here. Reach through your arm, your fingertips. Exhale. Back to regular down dog, both feet on the ground. Finish your vinyasa. So plank pose, chaturanga. Inhale into that cobra pose. All the way back to downward dog. Awesome, you guys. Take a breath here. And then we'll take the left leg back, stretch it all the way up. Bend your leg and open through your hip. Left knee over to your right elbow. So coming into that twisting plank, take your leg back again, reach it all the way up. Left to left, left knee, left elbow, strong through your core. Take your leg back one more time, maybe reach a little bit higher, and then pull your knee in and through to pigeon pose. Extend your right leg back behind you. Just take a breath here, square off your hips and lift through your heart. And then walk your hands forward and fold.
about three more deep breaths here in your pigeon. And then starting to make your way back upright. And then we'll unweight the left leg. So hook your back toes under, stretch your left leg into the air, push it up, bend your leg and open through your hip. Option to keep this going, flip your, flip your dog over and open through your chest into this three-legged back bend. Take a couple more breaths here. Reach back and open. And then flip it all the way back to your regular down dog. Last chaturanga here, lower down. Inhale, open and lift. And then downward facing dog. Uh, and then step or jump through to your seat. <clears throat> and we'll make our way all the way onto our backs. So go ahead and roll on down. And hug both knees in toward your chest and start to rock side to side. Keep your right knee hugging in and stretch your left leg out to the floor. Just circle through this right knee a little bit, starting to move through the right hip joint. So you can go the other direction a few rounds. And then extend your right leg up toward the ceiling. Feel into the hamstrings. You can have a little clasp behind your leg. If you happen to have a strap, you could use a strap. Take the strap around the sole of the foot and hold on to it, both ends of the strap. And then you might walk your hands up to your calf or your ankle, lift your head and shoulder blades and bring your forehead toward your right shin. So release out of that. And then grab hold of your right big toe with the first two fingers of your right hand if you can reach. Take your left arm out to the left and then open your right leg out to the right. This is like hand to big toe posture but we're on our backs. So try not to let your left hip lift off of the ground to keep the hips level. If you can't quite reach your toe, that's okay. You can just hold onto the leg with your hand or with your strap. Uh, take your leg back up through center. And we're going to now take the left hand to the right foot. See if you can grab the outer edge of the right foot on the pinky toe side. Take your right arm up to the right and guide your right leg over for a twist. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible in this twist. It's okay to roll over to your left hip, but also feel into your right IT band as you pull your right hip down slightly away from your 
shoulder and waistline. And then try to keep your right arm reaching out, shoulder blade on the floor. It's okay if your right foot doesn't come all the way to the ground. In fact, it's, it probably won't, that's okay. Take one more full breath in this cleansing twist. And then bring your right leg back up. And we'll just release the right leg all the way down to the floor. Give it a little shake out. And then gather your left knee toward your chest. And we'll start to do some little circles with the left knee. So moving through the left hip joint. Okay, you can go the other way. And then extending the left leg up toward the ceiling. Feel your hamstrings, feel the length of the leg and foot. Again, you can clasp your hands behind your leg or use a strap. Option to walk your hands up your calf your ankle, lift your head and shoulder blades off of the mat and, and bring your forehead toward your shin. And you'd release out of that and see if you might grab a hold of your left big toe, the first two fingers of your left hand and then reach your right arm out to the right. Open your left leg out to the left. Again, try not to let your right hip lift off of the mat. Hips are level. It's hand to big toe posture on our back. Take your left leg back all the way up through center and then switch your hands. So right hand to left foot, with the outer edge of your left foot, left arm out to the left and then twist. So again, it's okay if your foot doesn't come all the way to the ground. We're trying to keep our legs straight in this twist for today. Continue to pull down to your left hip and shoulder, or away from your shoulder rather, as you lengthen through your spine. Good. Take another cleansing breath here, feeling into the left IT band and hamstring. Take your left leg back up. <clears throat> Give this another breath or two. And then release that left leg to the floor. Stretch your arms all the way up and back. Extend your ears. And give yourself a huge full body stretch. Exhale, let your arms come down and you can rest in Shavasana. If there's anything else you need, for example, like a happy baby pose or a bridge pose, feel free to work into any of those last finishing poses or sequences that you might need.
And then whenever you're ready, you can let your body come to rest in Shavasana, corpse pose, letting your body completely release. Coming into a quality here of surrender and letting go. Allowing your body to rest. Look to this day, for it is life, the very life of life. In its brief course lie all the realities and truths of existence, the joy of growth, the splendor of action, the glory of power, sweetness of love and the exquisite pain of loss. For yesterday is but a memory and tomorrow only a vision. But today, well lived, makes every yesterday a memory of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Look well, therefore, to this day. You start to expand your breath here and you start to bring a little bit of movement, life, energy back into your body. Maybe shifting over to your side for a few breaths, fetal position. And then making your way back up to your seat on your mat. Your next in breath, reach the arms all the way up. And once again, hands together at your heart. Thank you for spending this hour with me, guys. And through the rain and the birds and the 
the sunshine and the coming of going of our life experience. We've kind of had it all today. So uh, we'll finish with one round of OM. Take a full breath in. Oh. Namaste. Thanks, you guys. That was really cool. You had rain and we had thunder. It's thundering like crazy out there right now. Did you really? Oh my gosh, how funny. Yeah, it's yeah. Really, it was real, well, it's that, really cool. <laughs> that is cool. I mean, it's nice. It's cool to kind of feel that and and let it kind of move through, right? What else? What other option do we have? <laughs> so. That's really cool. Oh, thanks, you guys, so much for being here. So good to be with you. Good to be with you. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. I'll see you next week, okay? Bye. Bye.